Hey friends, it is Jenna, what is up, and welcome back to the Board Game Garden. Today, you guys can tell by the title that we are going to be doing a fun little how to play of this game right here. This is Cultist Chaos, which it is a two to six player game. It takes 15 to 30 minutes, which is amazing. Just a quick card drafting game, small box, you can kind of take it traveling if you want. It is easy to learn, and this is designed by Dakota Cates. He is kind of known for being the Wizard of Barge. He has an Instagram. He is a super, super talented artist from Los Angeles, originally from Texas, and he moved to Los Angeles to become more of an artist, and he has t-shirts from places like Hot Topic and Spencer's and Zoomies, um, which those are all places that I've shopped before and I think it's very cool. He's also done a collaboration with Magic the Gathering and this is kind of like a passion project of his. He wanted to make a card game and he came up with Cultist Chaos. He kickstarted it, it is now fulfilled, and he now has more of these available on his website, which I will have his Instagram as well as his website down below if you guys are interested in grabbing a copy of Cultist Chaos. And I will mention that I do have another copy of Cultist Chaos that I will be giving away at the end of this video, so stick around for that. But without further ado, if you guys want to see how Cultist Chaos plays by Wizard of Barge, just keep on watching and let's get into this video. In Cultist Chaos, players will be racing to collect the most points at their altar and take over the world. The cult with the most points after three rounds, or you can play a single round for a shorter game, will reign forever. Does your cult have what it takes? In each round, there will be a draft, where each player starts with 13 cards in their hand, picks one, and passes the rest to the cultist on their left. And in this game, the cards are the most important thing, so let's get into what each card means and why you would want to place them in your altar. There are four main types of cards as well as deities, but we will get into those a little bit later. Starting off, you have item cards. These are cards that will get you points in different ways. You have zone cards, which get you points at the end of the game based off of what is in your altar. There are spell cards, which are cards that are played against your opponent and must be yelled out when you play that card. And lastly, there are sacrifices sacrifices, which are cards that can be sacrificed to play deities. Like I mentioned before, we will get into those after. But starting off, we have item cards. The all-seeing orb gives you three points. Cursed dagger, if you have one, you get five points, but more than that is zero. The staff of chaos gets you two points. And lastly, the boots of doom get you six points per pair. But if you have only one, that is zero points. There are also goblin skulls, which I would consider these items as well, but basically you want more than the person on your left and your right. They come in two, three, and four. And at the end of the round, if you have more than your neighbors, you get three points. If you have less, you get negative two. And next up, we have zones. These are going to be cards that get you points at the end of the round based off of what is in your altar. So you have the castle, which gets you one point for each different card you have in your altar. And you have the portal, which gets you one point per sacrifice you have in your altar, including the ones that were sacrificed for deities. Next up are spell cards. These are cards that can be played against opponents, starting with Soul Steel. When revealed, immediately swap this card with a card in another player's altar. You gain control of the stolen card, and they gain control of the Soul Steel card, and it is now worth three points. Next up is the Mimic Spell. This allows you to choose any existing card in your altar, and this card now becomes a copy of it. And lastly, we have the Hex Spell. This allows you to choose a card from any player's altar, and that player must discard it from their altar immediately. And lastly, like I mentioned, there are Sacrifice cards. These have to be used and sacrificed in order to play deities to get a ton of points. There are three different types of sacrifices, starting with the Goblet of Blood, the Book of Spells, as well as the Sacrificial Ring. There are 14 different deities, and each of them have different things you must sacrifice in order to play them. You can place a deity into your altar before having the sacrificial items that you need, but before the end of the game, you must sacrifice those items and place those cards underneath those deities in order to get the points on that deity card. I should also mention that some deities actually require some goblin skulls as well as the sacrificial items. And that is everything for what each card means. 
The cards are shuffled and each player, like I mentioned at the beginning, starts with 13 cards. There are three rounds, but you can choose to just do one round in order to make it a shorter game. But at the start of the game, you start with 13 cards, you pick one and then pass the remaining cards to the cultist on your left. Play continues like this until there are no more cards to play. And once everyone has played all 13 cards, you count up all of the points in your altar and whoever has the most points either wins the game or you keep that score in mind or write it down somewhere for the first round. All players altars are then wiped and a new round is started. After three separate rounds, all scores are added up and whoever has the most points after those three rounds is the winner. That player is now the official cult leader, gets this fun card, and that is everything on how to play Cultist Chaos. Okay, so that is everything for how to play Cultist Chaos. I am so excited about this game. I think it is such a great little compact game that you can bring anywhere, you can teach anyone, it's such an easy one to play. And I'm a huge fan of this like card drafting mechanism like Seven Wonders, and we just purchased one called Planted, which I'm very excited to try out. Um, Sushi Go Party, all of those where you have a hand of cards, you're picking one and then giving the rest to the person beside you. I just love that mechanism. So very, very excited to have this in the collection. Dakota's art is also like just so fun and so quirky. And I just love the theme. You typically don't see like cult kind of themed games. I just think it is so cool and colorful. Um, I do want to mention that I also got this little like bumper sticker, which I kind of want to stick on something. I don't know if I should stick it on my car because like I might get pulled over, but <laughs> it says I love my cult and it is just so funny. So anyways, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I do have a second copy of Cultist Chaos to give away to one of you. So all you have to do to enter into this giveaway is be subscribed to the Board Game Garden and then comment down below. I don't know if like cults have titles like, hi, welcome to our cult. It's called The Garden. Promise you guys, my channel's not a cult. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess comment down below what your um, imaginary cult would be called. Um, and if you do, you will be entered in to win a copy of Cultist Chaos. And I will ship that out to you eventually. Um, I do want to mention, I kind of forgot to do this in my past giveaway, but just keep in mind that there are like, sp not spam bots, like bots that um, tell you that you've won a giveaway. There's like a link. Never click on any links. Um, if you ever win any of my giveaways here on the Board Game Garden, I will just comment on your comment and say, hey, email me at this email and we will work out everything. So yes, or like message me on Instagram or let me know your Instagram so I can message you anything like that. There will never be a link to click on. I will never tell you to send me money. No, no, no. So yes, just keep that in mind. Um, I will let you guys know who the winner is in about a week. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Huge shout out to Dakota for reaching out. Definitely go check out Cultist Chaos on wizardofbarge.com. Also check out any of Dakota's art. He is just at wizardbarge over on Instagram. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in the next board game video. Bye friends. <laughs>